UNO is really invested in computer science. UNO is one of the only major universities in the city that did not cut computer science after Katrina uh, because they recognized the importance of this and now we are reaping the rewards of that. We have both a bachelor's of science in computer science and a minor and within the bachelor's of science we have three concentrations bioinformatics, information assurance, and game development. Game development is our most recently established concentration, uh, partly in response to a great demand from our students for uh, more classes in that area, and also as a response to all of the game development industry that's moving to New Orleans. Like all of our concentrations, uh, our students are still graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. Uh, they're still, uh, they still have a very widely applicable skill set. It's just that they're going to get there uh, by having a lot of fun and building the sort of stuff that drives them and which for many students got them into computer science in the first place. Um, ICM is a student organization and we, we, we sort of, we're the ones that bring community together in uh, computer science. Just by talking um, th about the topics with uh, your friends, it, it really helps you get a clearer idea in your head and just make connections you wouldn't make on your own. Especially in this building, this building no matter what floor you're in, you, you'll see someone that, that's either dealt with or struggling with the same thing you're dealing with. There are so many opportunities to interface with uh, the local leaders, the local uh, talent, all the, the movers and shakers right now in Silicon Bayou. Bi-weekly, we, through the Association for Computing Machinery, we bring in industry leaders. Students are able to you know, interact and socialize uh, with these individuals. I've experience in the startup scene of New Orleans and so I went from there from like this this small team of startup putting together some software to more of the corporate world at uh, GE Capital in the sweep apprentice program which is really pretty interesting they're applying like an old world take on learning a skill the apprentice track to software development and so that was a really cool opportunity to be paired with like <laughs> literally senior developers. We are constantly bombarded with email job opportunities. Uh, it's incredible actually, it's pretty overwhelming. I actually found my job through networking with a former student at UNO. I went, attended a uh, NOLASEC meeting and sat down at a table and introduced myself to this gentleman sitting there and come to find out he was a former student of UNO and his company was hiring within 30 days of sending him a resume, I was employed with the company. Uh, the best advice I could offer a potential student is to take one class at a time. That a class might seem difficult, approach the teacher if you're having problems, uh, talk to your classmates. Everybody's willing to help. They have never received negative feedback from a teacher as far as after going to seek help from them. It's very, you know, willing, open, everyone is super friendly, and it's not where you are competing against other students. You are a team and you're going to move on together. I was awarded the Women in Computer Science Scholarship sponsored by Sabrina Farmer. Sabrina Farmer is a graduate of the University of New Orleans in Computer Science and she now is one of the top directors at Google. The greatest impact she had on me was saying that she was her worst enemy that she had such self, great self-doubt and she was able to overcome that. Having that support is incredible and I've never had that in any other industry I've worked in. Having gone to UNO has allowed me to have different connections to former students, current alumni, to give me other opportunities and more connections. And I have yet to meet an alumni that would not offer help. Everyone is so open, just like a family.